Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Fish on. No, 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 no. Inside a lip. Just a little guy, but caught him on that green frog. Probably a quarter pound, half pound, maybe, but hey, got him. He hit it once before. And then, nah. thanks, buddy. Hit. What's up, guys? Fly fishing here. So, today, what you saw was me uh, doing some top water with this. Uh, it's just a green frog that I got from Lake uh, Lake Fork Trophy Tackle or Trophy Lures, Lake Fork Trophy Lures. This is actually freebie. I was driving cross country and uh, it was only you know 20 minutes out of my way. So I ran in there, grabbed some, uh, some baits because uh, LFG had recommended them and they worked, they're awesome. And they gave me some freebies and this happened to be one of them. One of them. It's uh, just a walking frog um, or a little paddle frog. I don't know the exact name of it. It's a uh, green and it's green and it's got uh, black flake in it, a little bit of red. Really like it though. It worked out really well. And then I was using this Berkeley lightning lightning shot uh, spinning rod. Uh, this is actually one of the first rods that I that I bought when I got back into fishing. Um, probably one of the best investments I made. It's uh, not very expensive. It's a seven foot medium. Um, yeah, seven foot medium action. Um, great rod, I really like it. I, I actually really enjoy it. And in my last video, I said I wanted to talk about the FG knot. Uh, Fluke Master has a really good video on it. That's where I learned it. Uh, this is not an FG knot. This is just a, basically a surgeon's knot. Um, like everybody else, I'm having problems with the FG knot uh, holding with a thicker braid and a thinner leader, whether floral mono. This happens to be uh, Berkeley Vanish, um, eight pound fluorocarbon, and it's uh, spider wire, um, 20 pound Invisibraid. I don't know why they call it Invisibraid. It's not invisible at all. Um, actually, I think it's more visible than, than a green, but Anyway, so I'm having problems with my FG knot staying in contact with my braid. And what I've learned from other people's videos is that this is actually used mostly by saltwater fishermen where they have a thinner braid and a very heavy mono or floral leader. So it's, almost, it's actually thicker. Um, so we're gonna go through it real quick and uh, we'll see if you guys have the same problem I do. Everybody knows, or if you don't know, um, you have to have a little bit of tension on your braid. So everybody says just to use the rod, which is great, right? So we've got a braid in one hand, our flora, I know it's really hard to see, our flora in the other. And we put it in our teeth, which applies a little bit of tension to the braid. And then we take our floro, and all we're gonna do, all we're gonna do is lay it over, go under and to you, and then under and away from you, under and over, under and over, 10 times on each side, total of 20, making sure you pinch them where you're actually um, wrapping the braid around the floro to protect it. So like this. So we lay it over, we go under and away from us, and then under and towards us. That's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 
16, 18, 20. All right, so I'm still pinching the knot right now. I have my tail end and my leader going back towards the rod. I'm gonna, or my tag end. I'm gonna take the tag end of my, uh, of my braid and I'm just gonna do um, half hitches, alternating half hitches around my tag end of my leader and my main line. So one going away from me. Tighten it down. And then one going towards me. Now this is what is supposed to lock it in, right? So essentially we have two tag ends, your main line, your leader, and the braid is wrapped around the floral, which looks great. I love it. And then the half hitches is what's supposed to lock it in, right? So now we wet it. You pull on that fluoro. You're pulling on the braid, and what you're trying to do is get the braid to actually bite into the fluorocarbon. Makes sense, right? That's what causes it not to slip, and that's what makes it so strong. And then you have the braid protecting your fluoro, which is what we want. And that's awesome. What I've had a problem with is once I get to this point, it'll slip out. Sometimes it holds, sometimes I have one rod one spinning rod that it holds great on. So once you get here, you can trim down, trim down your two tag ends. Basically, you have a, a nice slim knot that goes through these little micro guides on this uh, number eight uh, fishing rod. It goes through these micro guides, awesome, right? But if I pull, it'll start to slide. So this one's not going to, but I've had a problem with that. Um, and usually it's at the most inopportune time. Um, this one's actually holding really, really well, which is what you want. So this is the, the width of your knot. It's actually really, really small, right? Looks great, goes through the guides, no issues. Um, but if you're having a problem with it sliding, you got to make sure that that braid bites into that fluorocarbon if it, or the mono, whatever your leader is. If it doesn't bite into it, it's not going to hold and it's just going to slide right out, which is a huge issue, right? We don't want that, that to happen. And I've had it fail on me once if I get snagged or if I, if I do have the fish, I've had it fail on me too. Um, so you just got to be really careful with this knot and make sure that you're doing it properly. Um, this one seems to be holding really well, which is great. And that's what we want. <clears throat> All right, so there it is. The FG knot. It's super thin, <clears throat> but you got to make sure that you do those alternating half hitches. If you don't do those, your leader, especially if it's a thinner diameter than your braid, is just going to come sliding out on you. It's happened to me multiple times because I wasn't doing those half hitches properly. I was just doing continuous. I was doing both away from me. But it doesn't lock it in you have to do one away one towards just like you're doing the wraps in order to get the uh the knot to bite this braid has to bite into the fluoro or your mono in order for this knot to work that doesn't happen as soon as you get uh, snagged on something or you you get a, a bigger fish your leader is just going to come straight out from your main line but we can pull on this a good strong knot if you tie it properly as in any knot so fg knot try it keep doing it keep doing it test it before you send a lure out to the water if you send something out without testing it you're probably not going to be ha happy like i'm i wasn't when i lost a couple lures and lost the fish so that's the fg knot <clears throat> uh, i just want to thank you guys for watching i uh, hope there's more to come if you want me to do a challenge or anything, let me know. 
Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. If you don't, that's cool. Go to another channel. I don't have a problem with that. I'm just doing this for fun. So thanks.